Hi, it's Suzanne Bertolas from White Dragonfly Healing, and I'm here to tell you how to be ready for your Kyushi session, Quantum Soul Healing Integration, or your Angel Fire Reiki session if you're coming to me in person or to any of my students for these services, okay? Um, recently, I watched uh, Candace McGraw from BQH. She had posted in her forum something similar for her her students and clients to understand how to be ready for her sessions. Um, and it was a reminder for me um, to do the same thing for Kyushi. I have done this a long time ago, maybe a year and a half ago, when I was still only facilitating QHHT, okay? But now it's expanded for me. It has grown in a way that I'm utilizing more of my abilities than just doing a quantum session. And my team has been pushing me to make sure you understand how important it is to be ready when you come for a session with me in person or remotely, or if you um, book a session with any one of my uh, facilitators out there that have taken the training with me to learn how to do this modality and the Angel Fire Reiki, okay? The first thing and the most important thing is your emotional stability when you come to a session, okay? Emotions are a huge part of how we move forward in our life, okay? It, handling our emotions, okay, is a huge part of who we are and how we interact with other people throughout our lifetime, okay? But what they want us to remember is that if you're seeking out a healer of any kind that does energy work, okay, they are going to facilitate some pretty strong energy to come through their vessel for you. And this is how quantum sessions work. There needs to be a middleman, okay? But you need to be emotionally ready and prepared for what may happen in your session, okay? Um, suppression of emotions is a big factor in the manifestation of physical pain in the body, okay? And when you come to a, a session, the white light is going to blast you, basically, like an MRI machine, it's going to do, 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 just slice through your whole body and start to shift any low energies that are hanging out in your body, okay? Any old emotional wounds, scars, sadness, anger, grief, guilt, hate, any of those low energies will not um, allow you to move forward on your path if you keep holding on to them. Now, sometimes we don't know that they're there. Okay, we feel like we've worked through a problem, we've worked through a situation we grew up with, or whatever, okay? We feel like we've worked through those problems. And a lot of times we kind of have scratched the surface and we don't realize how much damage has truly been done or how much we're holding on to, okay? From childhood, from relationships, from grief, you know, losing, losing people in our lives, you know, things like that. They really can scar us. They can scar you at a deep, deep level. And you need to be ready to face that if it comes up in your session. You need to be ready that that may happen, that you may be put in a situation from, with your own team and your higher self that they truly want you to look at this issue that has kept you suppressed and stopped you from moving forward, where you feel like you're stuck. I just don't know what to do with my life. I feel like I'm going in circles. You know, I get so far and then a wall hits me, or I get so far and I think I'm doing great and then wham, I'm back down to the bottom. That's how energies work, low energies. They keep pulling you back. They keep pulling you down, right? And when you come to a quantum session, you have the white light of God coming through you. Plus, you have the collective there with their energy. Okay, that's different. It's different from the white light in the body scan. Okay, so you have all this love energy coming at you from all angles in a, in a quantum session or a Reiki session. Okay, and uh, it starts to shift things in your field and um, it can bring up some pretty intense emotions. Okay. Um, and the team wants you to be ready for that. They want you to be prepared and know that something may happen that causes you to release a lot of um, grief or 
anger or whatever it is that you may be holding on to. They want you to be prepared for that. So this is why I'm speaking now to say, hey, you got to know that this might happen in a session. Okay, these sessions aren't really for fun. They are for healing. Okay. Um, the next thing they want you to uh, look into is your spiritual part of who you are. They want you to be read, ready spiritually. Not so much that you have to know how to, um, you know, be a certain way and, and act a certain way with the collective because they know you're on a growth uh, path, right? Spiritually, they want you to really look at what is important for you spiritually. Is it important that you know where you came from? Is it important to know who your star family is or how many incarnations you've had? Is it important for you to know if you walked with Jesus or if you have a part of Jesus in you or if you are Mary Magdalene or you feel like you are? Do you know what I mean? You, you know, those questions come all the time into my sessions. Who are my guides? Who are my angels? Who walks with me? You know, why did I have this dream? Why did I have that dream? You know, what are the lights I'm seeing? Why is my third eye not open? All these spiritual things come out in sessions, okay? Or they're the questions that generally are in the list that I look at when I'm doing uh, facilitating, okay? But the team wants you to understand you're coming for healing. Does it really matter what star system you came from? Does it really matter if 2,000 years ago you walked with Jesus? Is that important? Is it affecting your life now? If it is, then ask the question. If it's not, then dig a little deeper about your spirituality and ask the questions that are holding you back from moving forward in your life spiritually. If you're feeling like you you should be um, coming from the heart more or being more compassionate, those kinds of things, okay, um, and you're feeling blocked, then it's a good idea to ask, why am I feeling blocked? Because I can't feel compassion or why, you know what I'm saying? You need to ask the questions that are gonna help you in this life because does it really matter? Those other things. I'm not saying not to ask questions like that or it might not be important or you know, that it's not important for you. If it's important, then you need to ask the questions. But the collective, my collective, is making asking you to be choosy about what energy you're putting into your sessions that they need to answer, okay? They really want to help you heal. That's why they bring you here. What my team does is they hook into you, basically. They just hook their energy into you and they pull you along until you find Suzanne or you find somebody that does Kyushi because that collective comes in with all of my people that I've trained, okay? Um, and they wanna help you heal. They want to help you release the negative energy, release the physical pain that you're dealing with because of emotional imbalances. This is why they want you to be prepared emotionally because when you release something that's kept you suppressed for a long, long time, it's amazing how much lighter your body feels and how you may not have pain in your neck anymore or in your back anymore or in your knees anymore because your physical body holds on to the negative energy that you're holding inside because your heart has been broken or you've been shut down. Okay, do you know what I'm saying? So physically, they want to heal you. And in order to do that, you need to be emotionally ready to trust and let go of whatever's keeping you sick. It's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. Um, and it's how you choose to live your life that is gonna make the difference between whether you can get healthy and release the pains that you're dealing with or whether you can't, okay? Nobody can do that for you. And this is important for you to know as well. Nobody can fix your pain. We can allow the healing energy to come through, right? Our hands or however in a QC session, holding the energy down for you, okay? Um, but we can't fix you. And it's so important for you to know out there that um, nobody has that ability. 
only you do. There's many gifted and talented healers on the planet, but any gifted and talented healer should be the first to say, it's not me healing you. It's the energy from God coming through and your own spirit in agreement with moving forward and allowing the release of the pain to happen. And that's, and that's how you heal. Okay. I'm not a doctor. Okay. But this is just what I understand and I know. Okay. Um, everybody's kind of chosen their path. So if you can't release pain, you got to ask the questions. Why do I have it? Why do I, why do I have this disease? When we get you deep enough to your higher self, they're going to tell you just like they did with my husband. Why does he have MS? Which I'm not going into now, but we all know it came out in one of my sessions or two of my sessions. Okay. There's a reason why you're in the condition you are. You've either allowed yourself to slide into that because you haven't been paying attention or it's part of your mission. And those are the questions you want to find out because you can manage things easier if you know the truth of why you're dealing with them. Okay. So those are the main things that you need to be ready for to have a successful quantum healing soul integration session. Okay. Or an angel fire Reiki session. Now I'm finding that the Reiki sessions, they've started me, um, facilitating them again for people just to get the white light into them because the same energy comes through. Okay. It's just, it's not a five hour session. You don't get to talk to your higher self unless you're really connected and you, you know, I've had that happen. Okay. They can take you to a past life in a Reiki session. If you're a visual person, if you're able to visualize and you can connect and trust that way, that can happen in a Reiki session. It doesn't have to happen in a quantum soul healing and integration session, a Kyushi session. Okay. Um, Reiki is very powerful. It's very, um, very relaxing. It's good for anxiety. It helps with pain. It helps clear your mind. You know, it helps with so many things. And I think this is why they're kind of bringing it back. Not that it's really gone anywhere, I guess, but for me, it did for two years. They sat me back from Reiki for a while, as much as I was teaching and facilitating it, okay? Um, or teaching it and, and doing uh, transfers for other people. They wanted those people to embody the angel fire so that the collective can work with them with more people that are aware, okay? Um, so these are the things they want you to pay attention to. Okay. Even for remote sessions, it's very important that you are ready with your equipment. It's mandatory that you have it set to go the night before that you've tested it, that you understand how to adjust the volume on your microphone, not the volume you hear with in those heads in the headset, the one that controls your, the volume I hear on my end. Okay. Um, it's important because you want to be able to listen back to the session afterward. And, it, and a lot of times the higher self comes in very quiet. Okay. And tell, or during the past life part, until I get to the part where I can pull through an archangel or Jesus or somebody like that to get your questions answered. They're more, they're stronger. Okay. Their energy comes through more clearly. Um, but still you want to hear your past life because, or the, the place they take you in this, in, in that part of the session. Sometimes you don't go to a past life. Sometimes they show you places here in this life. Sometimes they take you just into healing energy, but it's important for you to, in the healing process of this, for you to be able to listen back to it. So things click and you understand why this part of the session, the past life part of the session syncs up with the conversation I have with your higher self later, because they tie it all together for me. And I don't often, I like, I don't always see the connection until I get to the question. Then my team says, Hey, here's the connection. Ask about it. You know? So my team's working with me for you, with your team. Okay. So, um, make sure you're ready. Make sure your equipment's ready. Um, if you're going to use a phone or an iPad, it's, you really need to be plugged in to get the best connection that you can. Okay. A good headset, a good device to use that can be um, positioned in a way that I can see you. Okay. You can have it balanced on pillows. 
If you're going to spend a few hundred dollars for a session, spend $20 and get a stand for your device so that you can position it properly so that you don't pull it off if you move because I've had that happen. If you need an extension for your, your cord from your device to your headset, then get one because you don't want anything to hinder your session. And if you're lying there thinking, okay, I can't move because I've only got two and a half feet of cord and if I turn this way, it's gonna fall over. You, you have to be relaxed in your session. You can't have any worries about anything. You plan your time when your house is clear, when there's nobody gonna disturb you, your pets aren't gonna come in and bother you, your phone's not gonna ring, you don't have to go to work after the session, you know, or, or run and, and do something. You know, it's all about you on the day of your session. Okay, so make sure you're ready emotionally, spiritually, physically, and mechanically. <laughs> we'll have to, I should have put that one on there, mechanically, make sure your devices are ready. Okay, so that's it for today. This is my voice of knowing one because I know many of you are watching those and I'm gonna title it being ready for a session, okay? Um, and that's it. So if you would like to have a session with me, you can uh, contact me on my website. If you would like to have a session with somebody else, then look on my website and I will have their names up shortly for, um, for different areas if you wanna go in person for my facilitators, okay? So that's it for today. And this is my voice of knowing because I know how important it is for you to be ready for your session, okay? Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later.